Damon and Joe, we've been around the block for a while now. What we haven't really explained to you is that we've been mugged many times. And who doesn't like to relive those amazing moments? People have tried to mug me three times. What? Not once have they gotten what they wanted. He's like the escape artist. <laughs> Let me tell you about my mugging experience because it could help you or not, I don't know. I'm in Amsterdam three years ago, walking around 10 p.m. at night, like people are out, this is the red light district, it's time to go home. I pull out my map for two seconds and I start walking. Okay, put the, stop, you're stressing me out. <laughs> this is how I'm looking at him when he's telling the story. <laughs> like you better make it interesting. <laughs> Guess what, someone starts following me. He comes up to me and says, hey, do you need help? I say no. That's scheduler on high. So I keep on walking. Guess who I pass at the next corner? Creeper. Sketchometer wow. nine at this point. So it's like actually gonna be a 10. He goes, oh, no, but where do you need to go? Like insisting on assisting you. And I, <laughs> I say, yeah, I need to go over in this neighborhood, kind of pointing to where I need to go. He's like, oh yeah, you know what you need to do? Go straight, take a left, that'll be in the right direction. That's the way I was walking anyway. Turn the corner, guess what? Dark alley, sketch on matter what level? 15. <laughs> Imagine this building right here. And nothing else. This dark brick on one side, canal on the other side, no light. So like, he knows he Amsterdam framed. geography. He framed y'all. He framed me. So I like start speed walking. I'm like, cross country. I'm like, <laughs> he was gonna poop his face. <laughs> He catches up to me. You know what he says? I'm part of the mafia. If you don't give me 80 euros right now, I have a gun. Special <gasps> meter on 35! It went down? No, it was at 15. Oh, I think he said 50, which I thought was appropriate for the given situation. Okay, so 50 to 100. So, gun. He said the word gun, Joanna. Like, G-U-N, gun. Like, what would you do if you heard gun? Would you give him everything? That is risky. But then it's like, if I were a mugger, yeah, you would say gun to scare them. I don't know. That's a tough there, one. Then there's a part like you can be a mugger and still be a good person and don't pull the gun card. He pulled the gun card. So I don't know what I would do in that situation. I would probably run. And he's like, no, give me 80 euros or I'll hit you. I said, no. Finally, I got to the main street and he left me alone. So basically what we have here is a situation. Damon has done this several times. He has said no to muggers. Anyway, second situation. I'm on the Paris Metro at 8 a.m. going to my class. Tuesday morning. This is a separate mugging situation. Separate mugging. <laughs> Some guy sits in front of me. He has a hood on. You know what he does? He stands up like this and he looks at me. And I'm not gonna look at you if you're doing something weird on the subway. So then he goes like this. Oh, I hate when they do that. They snap. Like, don't, don't snap, snap in my me. face. Don't do that. <laughs> I am not a dog. And he says in French, give me your phone. I'm like, why would you want my phone? He's falling off. It was a yeah. bad phone. <laughs> He's speaking more in French. Like, give me your phone now. And then like saying like, me words. You know what happens? The train stops. And I'm like, this is my chance. I stand up. And you run out? Mm-hmm. Um, the third time I got mugged was what? In the grocery store when a uh, close shop told you to buy his groceries or he was- Oh, and I told him no. We were on the train platform and that guy came up to us so sketchy. No, he came up to me like really close. You can sense that the sketchometer is getting a little higher when somebody is this close to your face. Like, why are you in my acne zone? <laughs> <laughs> then he's like, English, and I'm like, He's like Spanish, I'm like, he's like French, I'm like, damn, he's smart. Oh, but the best part is that we're both like this, like. And then Damon's like, no. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, sorry. We had to spice it up a oh little bit. Rule number one, do not reveal your nationality. Never speak English. Always use your head motions. Do not do this. Oh, don't do that. I'm paranoid that you're gonna steal me, so I'm gonna get robbed even faster. Let me give you my passport. Let me give you my phone. Let me open this up and give you my hundreds of euros. If you're on a packed subway, put your hand in your pocket. That means like this. So if someone's trying to like get in there, you're gonna like hold hands with them and they're gonna be like, what are you doing? If you are in a sketch-tastic city like Amsterdam or Quito, for example, take- Oh, this is a good one. I know. Take scammer money every time you leave the house. You need to have 25 cents for the bus in one pocket and 75 cents in the other pocket for the robber. <laughs> Just so you have something to give them so they leave you alone. Yeah. Also, when escalators, do not put your backpack on your back. Hold it in front of you because somebody could easily like, bloop. 
Okay, so obviously Joe and I have different ways to approach muggers, scammers, gypsies. Do you, like if you think you need to give your phone, give the phone. Don't right. just be like, well Damon told me <laughs> I should stand up for myself. Material possessions, they come and go, your life, boo boo, that's important. You need to be in tune with your schedule meter response system, because we all have that. <laughs> when your adrenaline is kicking, you're like, <laughs> like, when you know it's schedule meter on 10, you're out. Like before you even realize it's on 10, when it's on 7, you're already looking for the exit. <laughs> Alright, so when you feel that schedometer is real and alive in a city, we've given you our tips. Maybe tonight here in Amsterdam, we'll have a fourth opportunity to learn more. <laughs> Comment below, do you have any other tips of how to avoid being mugged? Or have you been mugged? What happened? How'd you get out of it? Or how do them look like what they do? <laughs> Subscribe for more tips. We're Damon Woo! and Joe. Bye. Guess what? It happened. The last train of 30 days of trains. This is what happens. Before even getting on the train, I'm on the phone. Two people are sitting in front of us, sketchy looking boys. So I'm like, I'm gonna need to get off the phone. Hang up my phone call. We go into the train. We're like, okay, good. Woohoo, we escaped that one. Fine, fine. Guess who comes into the same train car a few seats behind us? Oh my god. The train pulls into the terminus, the last stop. We're like, wow, they, they're not muggers. They're just teenagers. They don't know what they're doing. They're just awkward they're by just default. They're just annoying, loud teenagers. As we're all getting our bags, getting ready to leave the train, one of the three boys comes up to us, simply grabs Damon's bag and says, c'est plutôt à moi, Manu. And it's I'm my like, bag. C'est plutôt à moi, it's Two my things bag. happen here. I grabbed the bag so quick, so quick, and Damon stood up. Damon starts yelling at the Yeah, the I yelled back at them. So then another one comes over and starts yelling at Damon. He's like, I'm gonna break your hand. And then all of a sudden, this is a reaction I never thought I would have. Turned so Brazilian. I'm like, para porra, para, sai daqui, para. Screaming, making a scene. We wanted to let you know that we got away. Got um, away, I told we, like, you. We like sprinted they just to, away. They try to scare you, and they, they do scare they do you. They scare We were you. scared, but like. In that moment, you're like, okay, quick reactions. Like, your reactions may surprise you, so it happened again. Yeah, You're welcome. Again. <laughs> Just doing our research. <laughs>